Hello YouTube, today I'm going to teach you how to um, use the uh, track view on uh, Sandbox 3 for Crisis 2. Um, first things first, you go to view, click track view, and then track view menu would open. Oh, let me set this back to 1. And then uh, that's how you get track view. And uh, now let's do the animation for it. Let me go to entity in the uh, roll up bar over here. Uh, choose whatever you want. I'm gonna choose the uh, suit du Vital. Alright, um, actually I'm gonna use a different entity. Um, that one won't spawn properly. I'm gonna go over to vehicles and I'm going to pick uh, the Black Ops helicopter. Not Black Ops like Call of Duty Black Ops, like Black Ops like Spec Ops. Alright, um, here you have the helicopter. Well, just hold on a sec. Right here we have the helicopter. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand. Um, I'm using my new microphone, which is just, uh, like one of those rap karaoke microphones. Alright, uh, here's the helicopter. I'm going to put that out in the distance. There it should do. Right there, I should do. And uh, now we're gonna go to the flow graph. You go in the toolbar above, you go to the view, and then click track view over here. And uh, click this button here that says add sequence. Name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name it Heli. Okay. And then uh, we're gonna go to right click it and click add. Add selected entities. Then we're going to click this, the edit sequence. We're going to click auto start loop. And uh, we're going to increase end time to about 30 seconds. Alright, the reason why I want it to loop because it's going to be a constant circle around. Okay, and press OK. Set this all the way to the beginning which is at zero seconds and click the record button which is right here and uh, I'm going to show you how to edit the set of seat, the uh, point just move it then there's point one the only way to you can edit that point if you just drag this red bar line over the green circle so then nothing's happening I'm going to put it there and then at frame 5, I'm going to move it over here. See this line appears. You don't see it right there. I'll just hold on a sec. See it's right there. I'm just going to keep doing that and then uh, show you how to. Yeah, so I'm just going to keep doing that. Alright, now I've done uh, with my sequence. Now I'm going to click Control G to see if it works. Alright, you can see that it's flying sideways like I have it at the end. Um, I'm going to teach you how to fix that in a sec. just want to show you what the sequence looks like. It's going to stay there for 5 seconds and now it's going to keep moving. Alright, so I'm going to fix that. Hold on. So, just how to fix that. Um, go back into the recording. And set it back to first keyframe frame. That where it ends, where it's supposed to turn. And then uh, click on it and just turn it from there. Turn it back. Alright, make sure it's lined up perfectly. There. Now let's see if it works.
There. I'm going to show you some more animations I did. And uh, thanks for watching.